Welcome. My name is Mark. Whether you're a student, a small business owner, or just someone who wants to improve their Excel skills, you've come to the right place. We're going to look at formatting a cell based on the value in another cell. I'm going to look at a number of scenarios, the first one being where we have some sales amounts, and we want to measure them against this target. So if the sales manager has met the target will change to one color, and if it hasn't met the target, it will change to another color. What I'm going to first of all, select all of the cells that I want to format, then what I do is go up to the home tab on my ribbon about halfway across it for the conditional formatting button. Click on that, and then there are loads of rules that you can use in here. We're going to use this option here, highlight cells according to the rules. Essentially, what we want to do is look at the sales value and know if it is greater than or equal to the sales target we have in E2 now. If I look down this list, I can't see any mention of something greater than or equal to. I've got greater than, but that's not quite what I want, so I'm going to go down to more rules. Sales with a sell value greater than or equal to. And then I'm going to click into this box now. This is the important part as I could type the 50,000 in here, but then it's not linked to this cell. So if I change my sales target of 60,000, I would want to compare these values against those new sales target. I want the conditional formatting that I'm setting out to be responsive to whatever is typed in here. So rather than a hard code in the value, I'm going to click into that cell reference. And there you are, you have the cell reference. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the format I want to apply if this rule is met, so I'm going to format it here, and I've got a number of tabs across the top. If I want to change the background color I go to fill. I'm going to say green background, and then I'll choose a font color and change it. When I click on OK, I get sneak peek there. I can see then that all of the values that are greater than or equal to 50,000 have a green background now. To do the Opposite and change the cell colors for those values that are below 50,000, keep the selection. Formatting rules, highlight cells, and click on the cell address there. I can go with the default formatting or I can create my own. So I'm going to go to custom format and go for a red background, and I'm going to go for white text. Click OK, click OK, and then we have it. So if I change this amount now, let's say I changed it to 80,000, I get a lot more red cells and only a few green cells. Thanks very much for listening, don't forget to subscribe if you find this stuff useful.